Kenya coffee remains among the top coffees in the world market and it is used extensively for blending coffees from other origins to improve their aroma and taste. The Coffee Productivity Project, otherwise known as CPP, was initiated and carried out with the aim of increasing the capacity for production of planting materials of Ruiru 11 and Batian coffee varieties. The project was financed by the European Union and the Kenya government and was implemented by the Coffee Research Institute. Its overall goal was improving productivity, thus reducing poverty in the coffee growing areas. Institute, through the support of uh, European Union and the Kenyan government, has been implementing one of the key projects under the Institute for the last five years, the project known as COVID Productivity Project, CPP. It's funded by both the European Union uh, at a tune of 80% of the funding and the Kenya government at a tune of 12%. The project started back in 2013 and is ending in December 2017, that is 54 months. Several activities which were targeted in the project are establishment of new coffee nurseries, rehabilitation of existing nurseries, construction and rehabilitation of greenhouses, renovation of rain-out shelters, upgrading of seed dispatch unit, production of training materials and undertaking farmer trainings through farmer field schools and radio programs. Currently, we have so far released two varieties that are resistant to the diseases, and these include the Ruru 11 that was released in 1985 and the Batian variety that was released in 2010. The criteria for selection of beneficiaries was developed within the partnership agreement with farmer associations and other legal entities. This was refined within the inception period with the support of the technical assistance contracted through local framework contract. A simplified call for proposal was used to competitively recruit the sub-grants beneficiaries. Accessible nurseries with facilities as per selection criteria were identified for development and expansion of capacity to produce seedlings and distribute. Management staff from the identified nurseries were trained on financial management, procurement processes, business planning, coffee nursery management and grafting among other topics. At most, five beneficiaries were targeted per coffee growing county based on the standard selection criteria. Initially, we used to have a small nursery which could not meet the demand of the society, but after the funding, we can produce more than 100,000 seedlings which can meet the demand of the society and supply the neighboring society. Enhancement of capacity to produce seed at Coffee Research Institute was done by establishing two hectares of new seed gardens and renovation of rain-out shelters. Augmentation for capacity to produce clonal materials was done by establishing clonal gardens of Batian and Ruru 11 varieties at the Coffee Research Institute. To do that, we have come into partnership. That is public-private partnership with cooperatives and private uh, nursery operators. In total, we have been doing this with the 28 beneficiaries of this project. For sustainability of the nursery, we, was, we have also introduced three tomato, passion fruit, macadamia, and we are also having gravelia to help farmers with shade treat for their coffee. 
In order to boost the production of Ruru 11 seedlings at CRI, existing greenhouses for hardening of tissue culture plantlets were repaired and one greenhouse constructed. Cooperative societies, community-based organizations and other agencies that participate in the project had their management staff trained on appropriate financial management, procurement processes, business planning and nursery management at the Coffee Research Institute. They also accessed quality seed from CRI in order to produce seedlings for sale. Madine yangu ni Florence Karambu Jireine, nimetoka Mutira Farmers Cooperative Society. Mimi ni mwanafunzi wa Farmers Field School kwa miaka mitatu. Na hiyo miaka mitatu ni merima, ni merima nao, na nikaona mafanikio kutoka na hiyo mambo ya kulima. Kwa hivyo mwaka huu, naona ikawa yangu imeendelea bisuri sana, hile mafunzi nimefunzo. Na niko na, wa, na wanafunzi, wale nimefunza. Niko na 25, wale wanakuja every month, na tunasoma pamoja, na siku isi bile nimeona, wameona, wameendelea bisuri sana. Faida yangu ya ukulima wakawa, nimeona ni mzuri sana kwa sababu, iyo miti yangu naona kama mwaka huu, nitatoa muti moja, kama karibu kilo shirini. Na iyo kilo shirini ikipatia pesa, nitaona, nitafanya mambo makubwa. Last year, kia mutuira tulipewa na miya moja pa kilo na nimenua kakari, nikajenga kanyumba kasuri, kwa hivyo ninakaa visuri sana siku hizi kwa sababu ya ukulima. Miche yetu ya kao tunatoa kiangondo, huko ndiyo tumeretua miti kutoka Roiro Coffee Research, diyo anatuletea, na kwa hivyo tupandi miti ya ile ya kienyeji. Tunaletua miti ile certified. Information on the improved coffee varieties was disseminated through 39 radio programs produced and aired further 12 demonstration or adaptability trials were established in various sites of the beneficiaries and 12 farmer field schools started and ran thereof. Through these farmer field schools, many farmer trainers were commissioned to continue undertaking farmers training in order to enhance the sustainability of the project. In addition, 76 farmers' stakeholder meetings were conducted to sensitize farmers on the project progress as well as improving their skills on the GAP. In order to increase the rate of change from the old varieties to the new ones, local youth and women were nominated for training on nursery management, grafting, top working and other coffee operations. These were trained at the Coffee Research Institute and awarded certificates. As a result of the project, farmers now have easy access to improved variety seedlings from either their cooperative society nurseries, private nurseries or even from the Coffee Research Institute. This has greatly enhanced coffee planting, especially in the non-traditional coffee growing areas. Miche yetu ya kao tunatoa kiangondo, huko ndiyo tumeretua miti kutoka Roiro Coffee Research, diyo anatuletea, na kwa hivyo tupandi miti ya ile ya kienyeji, tunaretua miti ile certified. It is very easier for the farmers to get planting material closer to the source. 